Hey guys, I'm Tim with Original Strength and I wanted to show you a variation on rocking uh, and in one of my past videos I talked about just making subtle changes to change the entire movement. So I wanted to show you a little variation on rocking today that can really help you dial in um, and focus on say your shoulders or your hips and I'll just show you. Um, it's real simple. So rocking is, is normally forward to back. And I've talked in the past too about you can be creative and you know, rock in circles and, and everything doesn't have to be linear. So I'm gonna take that kind of mindset and I'm gonna focus on say my left shoulder. So if you can imagine that your shoulder is a ball and socket joint, so I'm only gonna try to rock right over that ball and socket. So I'm gonna make, put my weight over this shoulder and I'm gonna rock in small circles directly over that ball, trying to, trying to draw circles over the ball and the socket joint, just really focusing, right, obviously, focusing on, on this shoulder here. Uh, this can be a great way to, to really get those stabilizers to turn on in your shoulder joint. Um, and then you can switch sides and focus on the other shoulder. And you'll feel, you'll feel some interesting things turn on. Uh, your, your lab muscles for one. And you don't just have to keep that with your shoulder. Say I want to focus on my left hip. Well, same thing, that ball in the socket joint, I'm just going to try to, to rock right over in circles. And you can go both directions. But I'm just going to try to rock right over that, that hip joint. And I'm going to switch, so shift the weight to the right side so there's no weight on the left. Not really. And I'm going to focus on the left. So these are just subtle changes you can do inside rocking. And look, it's still, I'm still moving. My whole body's moving, so my head's moving. So I'm still activating my vestibular system. I'm still keeping my head up. So I'm getting that good, uh, resetting good posture. Still have good posture. I'm just focusing on one particular area at a time. And, and the benefits of that is it can just help you find things and, and make things move better. If you do turn on your stabilizers and they say, oh, I've got it, and then all of a sudden you have full range of motion in your shoulders or your hips, well, that's a very good thing. And just simply focusing on, on one little area at a time while you're down on the floor playing around is a great way to, to discover and unlock things that you didn't know you had. Now, I want to show you a variation of this because it's interesting and weird. So, if you have a bench or a stool, you can do the same thing, but I'm, I'm still got my head up, my chest up, and I'm gonna focus on just this left shoulder here. I'm gonna rock over that ball and socket joint, just really trying to pivot around that shoulder joint. But because I'm standing up on two feet, the load is different. A little bit more load, so now I'm on the right side. And if you do this, you'll feel some interesting things, and they're good things, you'll, you'll feel you'll feel things turn on. Now, you can also do this with your hips, but if you do this at work, close the blinds, shut the door, lock it, because it looks kind of weird and you don't want to be that guy in the office or, or that lady. Um, but so I'm going to focus on the left hip now. So we're really going really gonna to get that hip out and rock over it. This feels uh, really good. You'll find your hamstrings, maybe some other things. You'll find your adductors. You'll find that you have muscles inside your leg and just simply focusing on, now I'm gonna shift to the right, focusing on one area at a time. This can be a great movement prep for those of you that like movement preps before you train. And if you're at the office, this is just a great way to, after you've been sitting a while, to really get into those hips, get them moving, feeling loosey-goosey, feeling good and it allows you to keep moving well throughout your day. And again, it's nothing, it's not rocket science, it's not some like big giant movement epiphany, but it's those little subtle changes right there that will make a difference. Play with it, explore it, focus on hands and knees on one, one joint, one shoulder, one hip at a time, and then maybe do it standing, and it's a completely low change. Uh, it's a complete, it's a change in load, uh, but you'll feel some wonderful things turn on, and and it'll just help you move better. All right, that's our tip for this week. I'm Tim with Original Strength, and we'll see you next time. This video has been brought to you by your friends at Original Strength. If you liked it, please share it with your friends and your neighbors. Have a great day.